ambition means to me knowing what you want to achieve and then having a plan to execute that and being able to, to realise the goals you set yourself. So are you ambitious? Yes, I've always been ambitious. That's what's led me to have a crack at all these glass ceilings all these years. So you think you've always been this way? I think I've always been this way. Okay. I was the oldest of four girls. I was always you know, pushing the boundary on what I could do. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Apart from myself. Apart from yourself. <laughs> well, my husband's always been an ambitious person. He got to the top of his profession as a, as a professor at the, at the university. But uh, I guess I just worked and lived alongside a lot of ambitious people who wanted to do the best. So is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I've always pushed, pushed away at the boundaries of, of what is possible and uh, what might seem impossible can become possible. Do you have any observations on how ambition is viewed in New Zealand? I don't think people are opposed to ambition. I think a lot of people have ambition. I think uh, where those who are uh, globally active can help is always in lifting the bar on what that ambition can be. I think in the business sector, it's very different from when I was young, where you had to succeed in business in New Zealand before you went global. That doesn't apply in the tech community, and the knowledge services. Uh, it's, a, it's a different world. And having the skills now to be able to move from the home base very, very quickly to a, a global market environment is very important.